Singapore's domestic holdings net portfolio value has dipped to $306 billion, down from $313 billion a year ago. And also on the decline was its one-year total shareholder return, which fell into negative territory. Tomasic chalked up the dent to the COVID-19 pandemic, but says, in the long run, its performance will be resilient against challenges. Cheryl Lynn reports. The coronavirus pandemic has cut short the momentum for Tomasic Holdings' portfolio value, which had been growing steadily and trending well. That figure fell by some 2% to $306 billion. Its one-year total shareholder return also dipped from a 1.49% gain last year to negative 2.3% this year. But Tomasic International CEO says that on the whole, he's pleased with its performance and that it has ended the year with a strong balance sheet. He says the firm's been constantly building a portfolio that's more resilient to shocks. In particular, our unlisted investments, which are recorded at book value, adjusted for impairment, have provided good returns. In addition, our more recent investments, guided by our themes and trends, have also performed well given the wider economic conditions. The results are pretty good, actually, in comparison to uh, how the rest of the market has done. Singapore stocks have gone down about uh, 18%, Asia X Japan is down 9%, and uh, MSCI World, which is uh, global stocks, uh, down about 5.8%. So in comparison, uh, 2% down is, is actually a very good result, yeah, all things considered. I mean, it was a very difficult period in March, so uh, for all equity markets. Tomasic also emphasizes that it invests over a long-term horizon and that it's seen robust shareholder returns of about 14% since 1974. But moving forward, the new normal will be even more complex. A lower returns environment, geopolitics and strategic rivalries and the pandemic will create even more uncertainties for investors. The market rebound we've seen in recent weeks should be viewed with caution, as the emergence of second waves of infection has forced a return to lockdowns in some places, markets may well resume their volatile behaviour. In the meantime, the investment firm also highlighted how it has helped in the fight against COVID-19, such as researching and developing solutions to prevent virus transmissions and contributing medical supplies. Tomasic will release its finalised review in September.